So the thing we want to do today is work on facial profiles and make some custom blend shapes. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get into it. First, we click on our facial profiles editor. Click on edit expressions. Much better. All right, so this one is using the CC4 extended blend shapes. Um, those are the new ones. They are okay, but they are not AR kit compatible. They are something else entirely. And down here, there's a new section. Actually, this is a, the whole thing is a new section. But um, anyway, the uh, the shapes do stuff like this, and you can move them with your slider. Um, and we're gonna create some new blend shapes. So let's do that. One really easy way to do this is to go to Edit Facial. And um, you can pull up an expression if you want to. Look at those pun him. Okay. So now you have an expression, but it's not quite what you want. So you can just do the usual. This is all stuff we did back in um, CC3 days. But the difference here is that you can save them. And I'll show you how to do that. There we go. Just mess with them a little bit. And now we're going to move his nose. There we go. Look at that. Oh, so just pinchable cheeks. Right there. All right, so uh, we got that. And now we have this crazy expression. And we are going to click out of that. Back to our official profile editor and edit expressions. Now we create a new slider. We're going to call it something. And if we want to, we can take a screen, we could do like a render and put like an image next to it, but I'm not going to do that. Now, once the slider is baked in, this new one controls everything. So as long as you're in the facial profile editor, this is God right here. This is what you care about. But you'll notice that when you click out of Expression Editor, you get your old expression back. So as per the usual, we click on Reset to Zero, and that puts the face back to where it was, where you expect it to be. Let's make another one. Here we're going to open his mouth, and I don't know, maybe have his tongue come out a little bit. Tongues are really tricky. They really are. But I'm glad they're there. It's nice to have them. All right, so now we have that, and we're going to raise an eyebrow. Fun, fun. <laughs> All right, and now we have a great new expression. And I have no idea what to call this one, but it's there. So um, now we go back to edit expressions again. Now we do a new slider. Something else. Click OK. And now, under custom, we have that, this, and that. But you want to see something cool? We can actually mix our sliders. So like, if we have our two sliders in various positions, and then we want to do something like, at the same time, 
wiggle his ears. Oh, and incidentally, these sliders, just like all the other CC sliders, will allow you to overload them. So the maximum is only a recommendation. This only works in CC4. Just keep that in mind. Because everywhere else, um, your blend shapes are sort of maxed out. Um, but not here, so that's nice. Okay, so now we've got a totally new expression. Um, let us... Uh, do something with the eyes here. Don't they need eyes? I think we need eyes. Let's dilate our pupils. I contract them a little bit. And we're going to make our eyes wider because he's shocked and appalled. Okay. So there we go. That's our new third expression. Create a new slider. Call it something three. Now all of the sliders used to make this will be reverted to a zero point, but the expression will stay on and the value of what's going on in the viewport will happen inside of something three, which is totally logical and 100% what you would expect to happen. Um, one thing to keep note of is, uh, just like CC3, our eye blend shapes and our jaw blend shapes uh, do not translate into any other program. So if you have one that um, does things with like eye look, like that, if you want to make them cross-eyed, um, you're going to have to create the actual eye movement in Blender, all this does is create the eye oculation and the tear line. That's super important to remember because you will get screwed up. Like if you wanted to do like a Belle Delphine face, <laughs> you know, with like the cross-eyed and the tongue out and all that fun stuff, um, you couldn't. It's just not gonna let you do it. But you can do it in Blender and I'll show you how to do that at some point later. Uh, not today, but a future video for sure. Um, okay, so now that we have all this, um, oopsie, we don't want to do a new slider. What am I thinking? We just want to go to custom. So now you've got these four shapes and this is a base model. So what do you do with these four shapes? Um, say theoretically you wanted to, uh, let's export them. We're just going to save them to the game dev drive. Um, and they're going to save as CC Facial Profile Files. That's totally fine. Just when you save, remember where you saved them. And now we are going to open a new project. We don't want to save this. We already did. All right. So now we have a new project and we are going to find a much cuter base character to play with. And there's our girl, Miss Bass. All right, so first thing we wanna do is go to Facial Profile, Edit Expressions again, and now we're gonna import her Facial Profile that we just created. And there it is right there. All right, so things we don't need here are the visemes or standard expressions. Um, because we already have those, it should theoretically be the same facial profile. So let's apply this with only the custom expressions enabled. And we're going to click add to augment the facial profile that's already there. All right. So here we go. Now we have custom and they work. All of these look silly, but you can uh, do facial profiles that save any kind of facial expression you want. And um, thanks to CC4, you have all of the flexibility you could ever need to do it. And there you go. 
that's my presentation. Um, if you want to follow up with this with me on Twitter, I am at Lynn Spire. And uh, that's it, babies. I'll see you soon.